Okay, now we're on the other side. I'm going to pull out all these screws. And then you pop the side cover off. It's going to be a little more difficult than what this looks like, but it's already been taken apart and disassembled. Now, first thing you want to do is take off this intermediate bear, uh, gear. There's a nylon bushing or washer here, and there's another one on the other side, which you don't want to lose. So you pull those off first, and then second of all, you want to pull this gear off. Now, on this gear, there's a offset washer, and you'll want to line up the offset washer with the gear and it'll slide past the teeth as you can see here this washer is cut to expose the gear on this one space so you can slide that off and once you've got that off you'll want to Get some snap ring pliers and pop off the main gear. Okay, once you got that, then you'll have to work this gear off. And it's probably best if you have a two jaw gear puller. And I just used two screwdrivers originally. But you could just tap it, you could tap it evenly and get it off. And there's a pin in here which fits into the slot in the main gear. So whatever you do, when you got this on here, don't try to drive this shaft through because it won't go because that pin's in the way. And then you slide the pin out and then out goes your gear. Now what you want to do is clean up all of these bearing races. All in here is going to be all covered in gooey, rusty crap. And clear all that out, clean it all out. Use some Varsol or some kerosene. And uh, once you get it all cleaned out, you can spray it with some WD-40 or whatever and just use some paper towels and just quick, you know, try to get all the old goo out as you can. Now, the biggest problem with this winch is this particular gear and this one-way clutch bearing which I've just replaced and it's probably the third one that I've replaced what happens is it gets rusty because uh, there's water penetrating either through the wire uh, inlets which weren't sealed up properly from the back side there was no silicone on them so it may have been a bit of moisture coming in through there or they put silicone around the outside edge here which seemed to be a little bit wet still so I don't think it was really um, cured up and sealing correctly so what happens with this is this little bit sh collar here it uh, basically seizes onto this shaft and this this gear seizes up to this collar and won't loosen off and what's supposed to happen is when you pull your anchor up this gear is tightened onto this sleeve and it winds up and when it winds up and you let off the switch this one-way clutch bearing locks into position and this is all snug tight and won't turn and it stops your anchor from free spooling back down now what I notice is when you uh, pull up your winch and your anchor pulls into the cradle it'll loosen off and that's the first indication that you've got a problem because your winch should pull up and stay tight. Now if it backs off or if you can take the chain and pull on your chain and the wind windlass will back loosen off that means that this bearing is shot 
and this is seized up. So what you have to do is basically tear it all down, clean this all up, and uh, once you got that cleaned up, you gotta and re you'll have to replace this. It's an Ena bearing, and there's two sizes. There's an eight. Um, M NF1816 and a NF1616. Uh, this is on a 1000, so it's an 1816. And the older 700s had the 1616. So once you get it apart, you can always measure it and order one up, or you can just call up the uh, Lumar distributor and he can get you a bearing kit. And um, that's basically all there is. So you base, with, when you go to re, uh, reinstall everything, you want to lube up everything with a ton of grease in all these bearings once they're all cleaned up and dried up. And lubricate this plate, that side, everything. There's just the more grease, the merrier. And then on the inside of this here, you want to put a little never seize on it. There's also a little bearing in between here between two washers and you'll want to lubricate those up as well. But you're going to need some never seize on the inside of this and the thread of this gear because this gear moves this way back and forth as well as turning. So it's on a thread and it tightens and it loosens to the other way. So if you put a little never seize you probably have no problem. Don't use the copper type use the uh, nickel type. Um, that's about it. When you uh, just use a good quality silicone to seal this back up, mask off the edges and put some silicone up against this face and then maybe you could fill the little valley that's in there. There you go.